Alright, so anyways, the reason why we're using the terminal base and the unit base is because this camera actually does not support the uh, power of the Ethernet. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take the information and from the router and attach it to the base unit, which is how it, it's denoted right here. And you attach it to the LAN in, the Ethernet cable from the router. Then you take another Ethernet cable and go from the, the data out and you attach it to your terminal unit. Your terminal unit is the, denoted right here. And it's actually going, the terminal unit it gets connected to your IP camera. So you take your Ethernet cable, you attach it in data in, you take your female to female, you put in the DC out, you go to the bottom of this, this uh, actual IP camera and you plug it in the DC. Then you take your other Ethernet cable, take LAN out. This is all on the uh, terminal unit. And then you attach it to the Ethernet LAN port on your IP camera. Now, to install the power to the whole thing, you take your AC adapter, your DC adapter, you plug it into the DC area, and then you just connect it into um, a port in the wall. And then after that, you're ready to go. The reason, the whole purpose is it takes your information from your router and it takes your power and transforms it, transforms it into one cable on the Ethernet. And then you take it to the terminal unit and then it spreads it back out again because this uh, camera does not support the PoE. Most PoE cameras do, um, most IP cameras do support it, but more of the box cameras don't.